So this is a tutorial on how to export your weapon materials to Thunder Road Lit using MSAOE textures. So first we'll open up Citizens Painter and we also have our weapons here. The first thing you want to do is you want to right click on your model and just show an explorer to get the uh, folder up, copy the link. Go into your Substance Painter and select your file here. So for this I'll be using my grip blade, so I'll click on that. Change the document resolution to 2 with K. Now you click this add button here and you want to select all of the materials. So once you've done that, click open and then OK. So now I have my weapon here. You don't need to rebake or anything. So what you want to do is you want to press the fill layer. So down here you have your materials as necessary. Um, to add more you go to channels and in the channels I will be adding emissive and I'll be adding glossiness. Okay, so now that I have that I'm going to tick glossiness and emissive and I'll click on the base colors just to select the weapon. So the name is grip blade, so searching grip blade and then select the materials as necessary. So I will add the roughness, the normal, uh, the emissive, and the metallic. So now that I've selected those, uh, glossiness and height don't have a texture, I will also go to texture set settings, and I will select the ambient occlusion map and I will put the AO or ambient occlusion into there too. So my weapon's a little bit messy because of the uh, the emission map that I made, but that's fine. So now what I want to do is I want to click on File, Export Textures, go to this window, make sure you select your folder. So for this I will create a new folder called MSAOE, just to put it the textures in a new folder. Now you want to go to output templates. I already have this here but I'll make a new one so I'll click the plus button, rename it so I'll rename it to MSAOE. Now first what we want to do is we want to add a RGBA. An RGB and another RGB. So for this one I will name it dollar sign mesh which means that when it exports it'll be the mesh's name underscore msaoe and then for the ones below here I will name this one normal and I will name this one base color now that I have that I want to make sure that I put the things in the right place. So first I will just do normal. So you go down to converted maps and do op normal open GL. Just drag it onto there and then put RGB channels. And then for the base color, just drag it onto there, RGB channels. So now the normal and base color are done. For the MSAOE, we want to drag metallic onto the R, the grey channel, we want to add ambient occlusion to green, then we want to add emissive onto blue, and then for A we want to add glossiness. So Remember, for red is metallic, green is ambient occlusion, blue is emissive, and the alpha is glossiness. Now that that's saved, we go back to our settings, go to output templates, click on the MSAOE, and export. 
Now that that is exported, I will go back into Unity, into my MSAOE folder. Then I will select my weapon and will change it from Autodesk Emissive to the new Thunder Road Lit. So I will drag the necessities so the base map goes in the base map. The MSAOE goes into that and then add the normals. Looks exactly the same as Autodesk Emissive, just need to change the smoothness so it fits. And there we go. Thunder Road Lit is now done and you have converted your materials.